Let's get started. In February of 2020, yeah, that 2020, I conducted the greatest social experiment of all time. Rooster Teeth's finest spent six hours trapped in a room together in an epic laugh challenge. The goal, to find the funniest among them. Did it succeed? I'm losing my mind. Well, we did have a winner. And I think I broke their brains a little in the process. A lot was learned from season one of Last Laugh, and we've heard you all loud and clear. That's why this time, we've brought in the big guns. With my co-host Elise Willems at my side, not a chuckle, chortle, smile, or smirk will get past our eyes. The main objective of the game remains. Be the one who laughs the least. Be the last one not laughing. Be the one to get the last laugh. With a different mix of 12 funny folks, some familiar, some new, we'll push these players to extreme limits. And this time, we want to really test those comedic chops. We want to see those comedic claws come out, find the hunters of humor, see who really throws down the gauntlet of giggles. Just like in season one, our 12 hilarious hopefuls will each start the game with three lives. But every time they crack, they lose a life. When all their lives are gone, so are they. But let's be honest. There were some competitors in season one that skated by by playing defense. Definitely not a fine gentleman by the name of Baron Aloysius. Madam, so many babies working in the mines. We want our season two contestants to really earn those laughs and go on the comedic offensive. Those that do will be rewarded. And those that hide in the shadows will face the consequences. Once again, we've got an arsenal of surprises to shake things up and throw these competitors off their game. And we've brought back what I like to call the Duffel of Derp. It's not called that. The Duffel of Derp is a bag for each player to fill with props and costumes, whatever they think can help them try and break their fellow competitors. Season one of Last Laugh taught us that purposefully not laughing in the face of funny, well, it can take a toll on a person. So I'm excited to see where the experiment takes us in season two. Let's meet our competitors. Guess who's back? Here we have Michael Jones. A lot of people thought he was a strong candidate to win season one. Oh shit. This was nothing but glass. Hello, I'm Michael Jones and I am from Achievement Hunter. I'm back in Last Live season two after a roaring success. In se I mean, I lost, but go, go, go. that's fucking gross. Baby can't process dairy. I am back with a vengeance to once again hang out for a bit. Look at Michael, look at his confidence. Well, he's uh, he's got the confidence of a man who is slightly older. He's gotta be- look at his swagger. At least 8% uh, more dead inside. Well, if I've learned anything from last year, my biggest competition is myself. And then Gus got me with a fart sound effect. And so I'm number one and farting Gus is number two to watch out for. Here comes the season one winner. Michael. Lindsay. Oh, it's close. The quote, funniest person at Rooster Teeth, big end quote. Hi, I'm Blaine Gibson. I'm part of Squad Team Force here at Rooster Teeth. And currently, I am Rooster Teeth's funniest cast member. Get the chief on the horn! As decided by season one and the unanimous agreement of the audience. I definitely feel like I have a target on my back coming off of season one. So I definitely need to watch out and I'm very reluctant to be here. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why I came back. Looks like they uh, wisened up and took out all the food. Oh, no, oh, bananas. They're right in front of you. I am excited because I do think that Blaine, he might be going in there more relaxed this time, but then he also knows that he has to bring it because he won last time. The nice thing about Blaine is that no matter what advantage he may or may not have, his head will do him in. So what have you been up to this last year? Just waiting for this okay, triumphant return. Oh, I'm fucked, man. You know, just like, I just kept saying, I want it. Let me in there. Did you have a picture of me on your mirror? And then every day you I honestly crush forgot it? you were in the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're back, baby. Why are we back? Why are we here? There's Fiona, season one's most controversial comedian. But now I think she is degaffing. <laughs> she does not give an F, Jeff. Look at her. And that, that might help her. 
What is up, everyone? It is Fiona Nova, member of Achievement Hunter, and I am back here, baby. <laughs> I just don't, I don't want to do that. With everything that I've learned from season one, I think I'm able to keep my patience and kind of go on the attack. Next when I went like this in 20 seconds and like, you laughed. <laughs> you were fingering a lemon. <laughs> blew my mind. How big of an advantage do you think the repeat contestants have over the first timers? I think they don't have as big of anxiety factor. Yeah. The nerves are gone. Because we're looking at three of season one's contestants here and they look cool as a cucumber. Oh, yeah. Strings for you yet, little oh! I'm Charlotte McGrath and I'm an editor producer at Funhouse. That said, she is a girl boss. Hey -o. Hello. I trained at the Second City. I know the powers of yes and, and I know how to accept, I know how to build. I'm an improviser. That's what I've told myself when I realize I haven't prepared enough. A lot of bananas. That's my girl. Oh, interesting. You know, you have to be unbiased. I do, I do, but come on. We interact every day, Charlotte and I, we're buds. She's also got a kind of like fun, positive energy about her, whereas the, you know, the Blaines and the Michaels of the world do not. I think I am gonna be a little bit of a sniper. I'm gonna try to get my jabs in because that's where I work best, is kind of just needling in at something that's happening in the room. It's not a thing. Research. Okay. It kinda looks like a... <sighs> Who the hell are you? Hey, hi. Who the hell Woo! are you? I'm gonna be honest with you, I really thought this was the bathroom. <laughs> hi, I'm Armando Torres and I'm a member of Fun House. I'm gonna get you, you kids. In addition to making goofy videos with my buds, I also do stand-up comedy. Do you know how upsetting it is to have an evacuation drill for sex? Doing stand-up comedy, if you're bombing in front of a group of people of any size for any amount of time, you are failing at your job. And so essentially, for six entire hours, I just have to look an audience in the face while they go, you're not funny. I knew, I knew he was gonna eat that lemon. I've seen him put a water bottle, an entire water bottle in his mouth. Is that on his OnlyFans or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pay for that usually. That right. Oh, shit. Amazing. I mean, I Guys are burning a lot of energy, like a couple of first years. Yep. Uh -huh. Barbara. Hi. Okay, this is who we wanted to see this time because Barb came in last year and just destroyed. She destroyed. Barbara like in Last Laugh season two? In yeah. season two. Season two. Hello, my name is Barbara Dunkelman, and I'm a member of Squad Team Force. Parachute! Oh! Puppy and coach. I am feeling excited. I was a cameo in the last season and got a lot of people to laugh. <laughs> now I'm a full-fledged contestant, so I'm ready to make people laugh. First years, man, burning off all their energy. I wanted to start things off high energy, get people pumped, get myself pumped, and maybe people will crack a little more easily. Yeah, Save that joke for the actual. Yeah, yeah, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, bye, 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 see you later. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you're stuck with me. Oh, it's Next okay. That's really Whoa! rude. Oh! 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 Hi, I'm Kai, I'm a gamer, I'm a streamer, and I'm a new member of Achievement Hunter. Oh no, I can't hide I, anymore. Yeah. Not so. <laughs> My strategy to win is really just to block out all the shenanigans. I'm a block. You can't you can't pop my bubble. Admittedly, Kai is a longtime Rooster Teeth fan too. Mm -hmm. So I think she also, while new to the show, does know things about these people and what makes them laugh. I think that gives her a tremendous advantage. I'm very much so a reactor. A lot of people say that my facial expressions speak before I do, and I can't control it. If something's dumb, I'm gonna look at it like it's dumb. Okay. I, you definitely asked. You got all close. Oh, oh, comes Lindsay. There, go. yep, there goes Lindsay. Wasting all the comedy Lindsay before the show stick. started. I, I really enjoyed seeing Lindsay, wasn't that great? That was really fast. Yeah. And I don't, yeah. oh. I, they, I don't yeah. come on. I mean, look at them, come on. I'm Lindsay Jones. I am an achievement hunter. I voiced Ruby Rose in the show Ruby. Hey, everybody. Please, privacy. <laughs> yeah. My comedic weakness is usually my own brain, unfortunately. Is yeah. that a comfortable Thank area? You. I don't think so. I uh, think this is an uncomfortable yeah. area. I can come up with some funny stuff off of the bat, but then in turn I laugh at my own thoughts, usually to myself, alone, or in the corner of a room. The social anxiety? Hello, hello. 
Strategy for winning, concrete wall of emotions, uh, nothing's getting by but tears and pain and strife. Everything that is happy, throw it away. Send it to the back of your brain. Keep it all locked up. I don't feel like there are any long-term like psychological issues that might arise from that tactic. Yeah, it's just, hey, dead. Uh, don't worry, if they don't like it, oh. I'll cut out. We got I already have to oh. shit. Yeah. I'm already up to yeah. shit. You too? Um, yeah. Oh, God, hey, really? Do you remember hey, Barbara's water? I didn't mean that joke, so I don't know if that's like... Now, oh, Trevor's yeah. new to the room. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't give off the kind of nervous vibe that maybe some of the other newcomers do. The quiet confidence of the Indiana boy. I'm Trevor Collins. I'm a member of Achievement Hunter. That means I play games and I'm a fool. Just don't let me fall in. If there's one thing I know about an Indiana boy, it's that there is zero confidence. Get out of the state, my friend. Let me be your beacon of hope. Do you think we're gonna see any alliances? I wonder, you got, especially gotta wonder with a married couple like Michael and Lindsay. I mean, Trevor and Barbara, too. Oh, are they dating? I am terrified about competing against Trevor because I love him so damn much. So if I'm gonna target anybody, Barbara is an easy one to go to. We're dating, we know each other. He knows what tickles me on my little funny bone. I'm very cautious of him because I think he's he's gonna get to me. What's wrong with the eye contact? God damn. Hey! hey. Why is it so bright in here? Kayla to me is meme humor personified. Yes, absolutely. Hi, I'm Kayla. I work in the sales department at Rooster Teeth, and I also have a podcast called No Dumb Answers with Mark and Brad. Ah, yes, my plan is coming together. Kayla, Kayla what do you have to say about that? Kayla That's you. has ADHD. <laughs> it feels weird to be here today. I think I told them like six times I didn't want to do this. Like, I have the slacks, I have the receipts, I laugh too easily, I smile too much. This is not going to go well for me. Can't pour it! Can't pour it! They know each other's shticks. They know what's probably gonna happen. They've made themselves numb to one another. Maybe I'll come out of left field because they'll be like, oh, it's just this like tiny little sales gremlin. Does anyone else feel like their heart is gonna explode? I feel like my mic shouldn't be right on my heart. <laughs> Sup, what oh. up? Yo, oh. my little right. subjects here, huh? Here we go, the Ryan Haley experience. He's come to play. I think maybe more than anybody in that room, mm. he's come to play. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. What? This is. You um, forgot what comes after. Hi, seven. my name is Ryan Haley, and I'm an editor slash producer at Funhouse. Come on, Duck. As Sun Tzu writes in The Art of War, the supreme act of warfare is to win your battle before it even starts so you don't have to fight at all. And that's what I'm trying to do, is I'm basically trying to intimidate them into giving up. James, you okay? <laughs> James? It's your name, oh, right? It's Ryan, dude. Oh, Ryan. it's the glasses, it's I didn't, the glasses. you know. You look just like James. Yeah. I am the most competitive person I know, personally. I get it from my father, and I've outcompetitive him. Fuck my dad. Good to know, dude. Also, Thank is you. that a stain on your shirt? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mustard. Yeah, cool. Don't worry about it. Eh, well, I won't. Right. It looks right. like everyone's yeah. here. That needs less pimp. Oh. No. Jeff, you look different. Yeah. Jeff, what happened? You look Not so again. happy. Not again. There he is. That's about the enthusiasm I would expect from Gus. My name is Gustavo Sarola. Most people know me as Gus. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, Gus, no. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Super excited to be here. I felt like I'm finally recovered from the traumatic experience of Last Laugh season one. So I'm ready to approach this with a clean slate and come in and see what these new people have to bring to season two. I'm a veteran. They don't know what they're doing. I got all the answers. I learned from last year. I loaded up an emodium this morning to stop my shitter up. That way I wouldn't have to shit once the lights turned on. Veterans maybe are gonna have a leg up here. People who've done this before are gonna understand what a marathon this is gonna be. That's the only way I come from behind. Well, it looks like we have our full cast assembled. These 12 are eagerly awaiting their comedic fate and that blue room is about to feel like a tornado of bits, jokes, and broken dreams. If there's one thing I learned in our first experiment, it's that it is fucking hard to watch all of these people at once, which is why I'm glad you can be a second set of eyes for us. And I have perfect vision. If I have my contact lenses in, I have my protein shake in the morning, and it's broad daylight. Okay. Which is why I am super stoked to be here with you, Jeff. But before we go in the room, do you think that we should check in with our secret weapon, so oh, to speak? that's a great idea. Let's call him. 
Hey, James. Our season one runner-up. How's it going, buddy? You're not how I remember you looking, but hello. <laughs> Jeff, other one. It's so good to see you both, and I'm really, really happy to be here. I have to be honest with you, this control room is kind of like giving me PTSD. Like, I feel like I'm getting hives and I'm not even there. As designed. But I guess rightly so, you did finish the game and then cry in the shower that night and not your usual cry. Well, I told you that in confidence, um, but the reason I wept in the shower, and I think there was a little bit of blood, is because it was a nightmare. When you want people to laugh and they don't, it feels like you're dying again and again. I fought valiantly with Blaine. We got to the final two, but ultimately he won, and I got stuck with the illustrious second place. Being second best just really, really sucks. Well, wait until the cast finds out that this time, you're the trick up our sleeve. Yeah, you're like a kind of hybrid Phantom of the Opera Quasimodo of prank shows. You just cited two very ugly things. Well, you know, I actually thought the idea of outsourcing this kind of torment was a little weird at first, but then I thought about how Spite factored in and I got really excited about it. Oh, Spite is the best motivator. Speaking of motivation, let's get in there and start torturing these guys. Why don't you, uh, you hold on, we'll cue you. Stand by. I will, I can't, I'm literally trapped in this screen. I can't go anywhere. Snickered at your own joke. You gotta break that. You gotta break <laughs> it. I'm done no, for. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> can do it. <laughs> done for Just act you. like Ryan, plug your ears, close your eyes. Hello and congratulations on being chosen to participate in season two of Last Laugh. How's everybody feeling? Good. Okay, uh, little note, most of my questions are rhetorical, don't need your life stories. Now, yeah. the last time we ran this experiment, a global pandemic broke out. So let's, uh, let's not push our luck, let's try not to do that again. I'm very thrilled to announce that your previous contestant, Elise, is elevated, promoted if you will, and joining me as co-host. Guys, I gotta tell you, oh thank you, thank She's you. She's the season one winner. Hold your applause. Yeah, Last season was a doozy, there's no way around it. And uh, yeah. I think it's gonna be the same this time. Yeah, well. cool. Now, the goal is to determine who the funniest person in Rooster Teeth is. And you may say, we determined who the funniest person at Rooster Teeth is, to which I would counter, we definitely had a winner, but you know, as with all scientific experiments, you gotta run them a few times because you can get weird results. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that. I agree. Yeah, understandable. Okay. And so, like last season, for the next six hours, you will all be in this room with one mission to make each other laugh without breaking yourselves. Like season one, if you laugh, smile, or smirk, we will cue this. Not the noise, not that. I hate that sound. I hate it so much. You'll hear this in your sleep. Not the buzzer again. Sound of failure. I'm getting heavy flashbacks to last season. I might have to go home and tell everyone that I lost. I'm an embarrassment and a failure to the family. And I just don't want to repeat that again, you know? No. I don't want to be here. I love it. That means we're that much closer. And then gameplay will stop, cease to be, and the player will lose a life. Lose all three lives and you'll be eliminated from the room and my life. I'm sorry, those oh. are the rules. Those are the rules. Harsh. But you set those rules. Harsh I feel like this fair. is personal mm -hmm. now. But this time around, there is a twist because you can earn more lives. Oh. And to tell us more is an old friend of Last Laugh. Wow. Oh. Let him out. Oh. Hey, everybody. Hey, guys. I can smell you all from here. Now, some of you may remember, James made it all the way to the final two of Last Laugh, and uh, he got beaten in a tiebreaker by himself, honestly. It was his to win, he was in his head, it was rough. James didn't win, Blaine won, rightfully so, but James being the thoughtful person that he is, he gave us some very valuable feedback after the first season, which we've incorporated in the show this time around. James, do you wanna take it away? Sure, I'd love to. Thanks, Elise. So this game is about survival. Obviously, you're trying to make it to the end, but the whole idea is to see who the funniest person is. We wanna see you flex your comedic muscle. Flex for me, come on, show me show me your flex, guys. That's comedy, that's not comedy. Eh, no, I don't see anything. So if what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover your face, you're gonna hide, you're gonna stay away in the corner and not interact, something Chris Damaris might do, okay? <laughs> that's gonna get you in trouble. That's not what we want. What we want is for you to actually participate. And so we're gonna reward you. If your comedic bit 
joke, whatever, gets someone to laugh and lose a life, then you will be rewarded with an extra life yourself. Okay, so this is about going on the offensive. Huge. That's what we want to see. Now, we're not completely evil, though. For you wallflowers that want to hide away, you will get one warning before we start deducting lives. Per usual, Jeff and I are judge, jury, and executioner. It is to our discretion to determine whether you successfully cracked another player, and conversely, whether you succumbed to the fear of the room. But James, you're not just a pretty face, right? Well, no, Elise, I am very much, I would say 80% pretty face, but that other 20% has been working with both of you to kind of concoct some new, let's call them group activities, uh, which everyone's gonna be forced to participate in. So I hope you're excited to play. Another fun addition to Last Laugh this season is our fancy little dumbwaiter. Throughout the competition, you may hear this sound. And when you do, Open up our little dumb waiter. Hot pockets. And there might Ooh, be a surprise in it for you. Whatever it is, oh, it's it. sure to be hilarious. And like last year, we do have a prize and a snazzy trophy. Jeff, you want to tell him about them? That's right. Uh, Blaine can attest to this. Season one winner, he received a he broke. gorgeous breakable trophy and $1,000. That's right, four figures. We wanted to up it in season two, four, so $40. we got a better, stronger trophy and increased the uh, the prize pool yeah. to $1,001. No. Yeah. Well, it's one more dollar than what I won last year. That's like two months of student loans. That's comedy, baby! Prize money is one tenth of one percent greater. I mean, that's just the level you're going to see this season is one tenth of one percent more of what you love. Yes. Before we get started, any final questions? Yeah. I got a bunch. Okay, now yes. go ahead and hold those till uh, forever, and uh, best of luck. Good luck. No, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Don't, Don't eat the bananas. Wait, why not eat the banana? Wait, I already ate the banana. What's wrong with the banana? Fuck. Oh boy, I really gotta take a shit. We learned so much when we filmed season one and I'm really excited to put some of that to the test. Especially the interactivity, some of the games that we've got planned out, some of the mechanics that we have to kind of bring them all together to force them to interact. With season two, I'm looking forward to the no and low expectations. I don't have to compete. I can just sit back and enjoy and laugh as loud as I want. <laughs> The game hasn't started yet, but in my mind, the game has started yet. The game started the second I walked through that door and was laughing at everybody and staring everyone down. We know what's happening, we know what's coming, and we're just waiting to die. Physically, I am calm. Internally, I am screaming very loudly. The main thing I hope to see today is surprises. I want to think I knew some of these people and then them to do some weird shit that I didn't even see coming and maybe now they're on a no-fly list. They have no idea what's ahead of them. It is time. You ready to do this? Let's do it. You can do it. Three, two, Fuck. one. Let's get cracking. Oh, God, my head. Ryan's going all in. No, I'm not. The race begins. That was good. Who do you think is going to get the first hit? This is tough. This is tough. I'm gonna, my money is on Lindsay smiling on accident. I'm trying to get the get the juices out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll join you. You gonna do some exercises? We're doing yoga. I think that was just Trevor. That was that, that was over there. I think that was just Trevor. Kayla. Trevor, you ringing bells? Be careful, Kayla. What's going on with Kayla's face there? Be careful, Kayla. It's like um, it's like there's two wolves inside of me. One of them wants to laugh because I just find Michael's voice to be hilarious, and the other half of me doesn't want to be eliminated uh, immediately after the buzzer goes off. So, which wolf wins? Keep a special eye on Kayla. She was looking a little. Fiona is putting on a mustache. It's gone. It what are you doing? Are we playing dominoes or are we building a tower? Kyle, tallest tower. All right, okay, say less. He's gonna be comfortable. Barbara has protective eye gear. Oh no, her eyes. Oh no! Good job. I dominoed. I think those need some repairs. That's really good. It looks really sad. Can I? Can I? If anyone thinks you're about to laugh, you can come punch my clown. I got this for everybody. Right, can so I kick it too? You can kick it. You can do whatever the fuck you want to it. 
It's for everyone. It's a public clown. Ryan's gonna hurt someone. How does uh? How do you feel like this compares to to the start of your season? They're all coming right out the gate, and maybe a recipe for burnout. That makes sense. I'm not, no, I'm just missing this one thing. You want some of this? You got new milk? Yeah. Congratulations! You didn't know it was that time of the month. I don't know if I want that milk. I don't, either. I don't know if I. Kai, can I interest you in some breast milk? You know what? Thank you. She got real close. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh my God! I missed the mouse. Come on, try again. Right here, I'm. Come on. That was great. It landed right on the front. Oh. You want a little squirt? Hang on. I really don't know what's in that. It's, well, it's Lindsay's milk. Have a taste. You want a nerdy nummy? What are you doing? Trevor, 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 Trevor. There it is. I, I like, I fully sent it because I didn't want him to miss it. I was like, I swear, so I'm just going to laugh. I was telling, I was telling Michael, I was like, you got to get Trevor. He's going to crack at this. All right. It's crowded. That didn't take very take long. Seats, take your seats, take your seats, take your seats. Guess who, uh, who was the first to break? It was Elise. That man. It was Elise. Trevor. It wasn't me. What happened, you know. buddy? Are you nuts? Of course I'm the first one to smile. Yeah. I got, I was accosted. Look at what I'm facing. <laughs> Literally what's facing, on their faces. it's on their face. Literally. Let's go ahead and check out the replay oh. just to see what happens. Don't stand in front of it, idiot. Oh. Oh. That's a beautiful boy. Fiona mumbles something to me and it just it just sends me. I don't know what it is. It's I just saw that little stupid smile and I knew you were about to laugh, so I had to hit you hard. I had to hit you hard. Trevor, what are you doing? I'm not disappointed in Trevor. Trevor is doing exactly what we expected him to do. Michael and Trevor, we know each other pretty well. So I feel like the reason why we always attack each other is mainly because we know what makes the other person tick. It's an achievement hunter personality trait to antagonize your friends and get some self-gratification out of it. They went primal on me, Jeff. They went deep. They went for the they went for the deep hit. Well, Fiona? Congratulations. Thank you. You drew first blood. Ooh. It feels great to be the one to earn the first extra life, especially with what I went through last season. Uh, all right, we need a volunteer. I felt like I had to prove myself last season. This time, I am proving myself. It was the it was looking at Fiona's face sent me. <laughs> that was enough. Uh, Fiona is a bit of a kryptonite to him. They have a they have a special thing. They're very good at getting under each other's skin. I know he was a big problem for her in season one. He called me a dog. So I guess it's only fair that she returns the favor. Okay, I'm in it. Thanks, coach. I'm in it. I'm in it. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. Here comes the countdown timer. Here we go. Go. Can't believe Three, I let Kai down. Two. Oh, no. One. Baby time. Oh, God. Oh, damn, that's brutal. That's like chiropractor level stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, that yeah, was all I was sure. talking about. Yeah, before. no kidding. Are you, goodness. So what I do, so I do one of these. I go, I literally, like. You give yourself whiplash? Well, you, yeah, you, you, like, keep your chest here. Would somebody please gossip with me on the floor? I'll do it. I like that. Uh, Michael will do the thing where he'll hug me and kind of, like, pop my back like that. I like that, that too. Helps a lot too. Yeah. I don't have. A Michael to hug me though. For you can, you can ask. I heard someone has a crush on you. Yeah. Gus. Yeah. Gus has a crush yeah. on Barb. Do you need me to pop your back? Yeah, or Mondo? I was Mondo? a freestyle what? breaststroke person. Let's do so. it. Go ahead. Go. Oh! Yeah, it sounds healthy. That's a healthy spine. Are we talking about boys? Apparently, Gus has a crush on me. Gus has a crush on Barb. That's crazy. Which is like weird because he's kind of like my dad in a lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. That's what makes it hot, though. Does anyone have a crush on me? I think that I think that fine young gentleman on the couch does. Hi. Pizza. You need to tell me if someone had a crush on me, right? Him. Because I'm trying to get. Can y'all be real with me? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Who did it? I didn't spring it all. Yeah. Play it back. Who did it? Oh, Kayla. Oh. Kayla? Oh, it was wow. me. Thank no, God. Was me. What, what, what Thank God. Well, well, well.
didn't think I'd be seeing you all again quite so soon. Awesome. What was happening was down here? Yeah, what was that? We were gossiping. We were gossiping. Okay, that's what it felt like. Somebody so has a crush on bars. Let's uh, let's check out the replay here. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna be Charlotte. You need to tell me I, if someone I, had a crush him, on him, me, right? Because I'm trying uh, to get. Can y'all be real with me? Yeah. Well, we've got this inside joke that absolutely devastates me anytime it's brought up. And is that on her or is that on me? Or is it on the two of us for being a perfect comedy duo? I don't know. So, uh, inside jokes, that's another one. Mm. Gotta watch out for them. It's not inside, it's funny. Like Kayla, to you're down to two, I'm afraid. Yeah. Charlotte, we get to give you a life for that. Congrats. You're up to four. Congratulations. Sons and four. I feel good, I got an extra life. No one can touch me. I'm untouchable. I'm amazing. Cool. I'll see you in about five minutes, I will see yeah. you in two minutes with my second life gone. One minute. Three, two, one. Happy New, Happy New Year! Year. Oh, That's my bit! That's the yeah, first dude. time! We did it! We did it! We're the big leagues now! We're in the big leagues. Oh, what are you reading? It's called Ass Eating for Beginners. Is it? It's a book I wrote. It's a, oh. I mean, the theory is that it's a book. Yes. Your eyes are okay? Are those prescription? Like, that causes cancer. A plus. They look like there's lips, like someone kissed on the inside, actually. Yeah, you look unwell. Or is that your eyelashes? Trevor and Barb, watch this in particular. If anybody knows how to make those two laugh, it's those two. Think they're gonna break up in the room? I think one can hope. Hey. That's nice. I hope nobody films that. I hope, I hope, I hope nobody camera. takes a, a, a um, animated image of that, you know? Right. That's or kind this. Of, that's the kind of things you do in the privacy of your own home. Exactly. Not, not out here. And I wouldn't also, even talk about this it. This is also something we do in the privacy of our own home. That's what it takes? I don't know if you do this, but Is this legal? Is this allowed? <laughs> hey, Charlotte's doing stand up, everybody. Hey, guys, everybody. guys, Charlotte's doing stand up. I gotta, I just wanna do my tight 30 or 40. Sure. Uh, hey, folks. Ever see one of these? You know what this makes me think of? What's that? Uh, fetus at two hours with a heartbeat. Thank you. Uh oh, twins. Oh. I was very, very I think, close. I think, I think it's just, just her, her face. face. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that joke. I don't like that joke. We didn't laugh. Hold them back. Bounce them. Bounce them. Oh, hey, oh, hold them back. Hold them back. back. Hold them back. I don't sorry, like that sorry. joke. You're a fetus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're a fetus. Sir, I don't like You're a fetus. Truth, motherfucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch my special trigger coming out next month. Yo, that's a double homicide. Did you smirk at your own joke for life? She did a fake laugh. I don't think I did. She did. Yeah, she did. We are not the Roll the clips. Roll the tape. I don't think we're I'm sick of this surveillance state. Stop it. Stop it. I've got my eye on you. I agree, but I've got my eye on you. You can keep your eye on my asshole. Oh, that's right. Three left. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Guys, Jeff's on his way and he's not happy. He's, I not, hope so. he's not happy? Dad? What happened? Who's in trouble? Who's getting a spanking? Drop your pants. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the replay. We're gonna have it somewhere in the yeah. right there region. I was gonna get myself, it was only a matter of time. I am but a pawn in my own game. You can keep your eye on my asshole. Yeah, I came out the, the dang womb with a smile. Uh, and backwards, might I add. You know, I really put my mom through hell. And then the doctor said, wipe that smile off your face, kid. This is serious. You, you just got that gonna do that. You wasted my life. You can smile Charlotte, now. from three to four to three. Oh call three, four, three, we call that a halo. I mean, come on, keep your eye on my asshole. Like that's gold, that's absolute gold. That's like Austin Powers level funny. That's the luck. Let's come go on, judges, Blaine, let's, let's go. go judges, come on. Blaine, you go ahead and stay. Okay, you got it, Jeff. Next season. Yeah, okay, next season, you got it. I almost was a judge just then. And here we go. Three, yeah, we kept two, one. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! Whoa, whoa. All right, we've had uh, three laughs thus far. Two points awarded. 
This is trash. There you go. Okay, Blaine went into the changing room, yes. which is a feature that we have where if the cast wants to go put on a costume or something and surprise everybody, they can go in there and then come back out. I was jogging and I got bit. Like, was that a hate crime? Yeah. Jesus! Everybody get on the ground! Get on the ground! Just stick Oh my god! He's got a gun! Hey, you put that down. You put... <laughs> Don't make me use these! I'm sorry, everyone. Don't make me! This whole place is gonna go! Blaine's got hot dogs strapped to his chest. <laughs> Oh no. Trevor! Oh no. You get on the ground! Oh no. This whole place is gonna go! The moment Blaine walked through the room, I was startled. I want the mayor on the phone right now, all right? I laugh way too easily, so this is gonna go south fast. Phone right now, all right? I've seen a lot of wieners in my life. This has got to take the cake. I want 500 gallons of mustard! <laughs> My under over for myself is about 15 minutes, and I'm on track. I'm screwed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, ow. Oh, what is going on with Trevor? Coming up this season on Last Laugh. Get him, kid. Pump up those tires. Welcome to the show, everybody. Take a seat. The first rule of combat comedy is you gotta come out strong. No smile, no laughing. What the fuck? They have no idea what's ahead of them. How exhausting it's gonna be, how grueling. Uh, oh, hell yeah! I wanna laugh so bad. <laughs> it's the situation, it's the room, it's the lights. Does anyone else feel like their heart is gonna explode? If I laugh, it'll be it for me. Where's my model? Is someone gonna laugh? Will I laugh? No! Oh. <laughs> So I want you to get your hands on it for it to go. Oh. <laughs> this is Last Laugh.